as indicated on the previous slide, the best way of calculating the population mean for the binomial distribution is to treat the binomial distribution as the sum of mutually independent identically distributed Bernoulli random variables. But unfortunately we have not yet defined mutual independence so because of that we're going to have to do it the hard way and that's what this slide is about. We're going to use the original formula, the defining formula for mu which is the expected value of x and for a discrete distribution that will be the sum over the support script A of x times f of x and that is what we're going to use here. So the support for a binomial random variable runs from 0 to n and we have x multiplied by f of x and that gives you the first step. Now you'll notice that the very first term with x equals 0 corresponds to 0 times the probability mass function and so since that first term is 0 we can change the lower limit of this summation from x equals 0 to x equals 1. Now the next thing we can do is we can write out n choose x and when you write out n choose x this becomes n factorial divided by x factorial times n minus x factorial. However when you take x divided by x factorial the x's cancel and you're left with x minus 1 factorial and that brings you to this step. Now going from this step to the next step involves a little bit of trickery because if you, you, if you know what the answer is and the answer happens to be NP you'll see that's down here at the bottom you can pull an N out of this summation and when you pull an N out of the summation you are left with n minus 1 factorial. In addition you can pull a p out of this summation. You notice that there's x of them here. When you pull one out front you are left with x minus 1 of them. Now going from this summation right here to this summation right here involves a substitution. If you let y be x minus 1 then you'll notice first of all that the limits instead of running from 1 up to n they now run from 0 up to n minus 1 because of the shift by 1. Furthermore when you have p raised to the x minus 1 power now that becomes p to the y. When you have x minus 1 factorial you notice that becomes y factorial and everything else involving x will get itself updated appropriately and that's how you wind up with this expression right here. This constant out front you can recognize as n minus 1 choose y. And once this is recognized as n minus 1 choose y, you then can look at this entire sum and here as f of, and in this case we're going to put a y in here, for a binomial random variable, in other words it's the probability mass function for a binomial random variable with parameters n minus 1 and p. And furthermore it's summed over the limits. So we are summing a probability mass function and we know that all probability mass functions sum to 1 so we are just left with np. So even though this might not be something you could put together yourself mainly this step here with pulling out the NP it still works and we have that the population mean of a binomial distribution is NP.